As I'm out and about talking with people these days, one of the phrases that I hear on a fairly regular basis is, well, I'm not religious, but I'm spiritual. And what I think people are saying by that is that I want to acknowledge that there's a spiritual side of life, but I'm not really interested in traditional religion. And every time I hear people describe their personal quest for religionless spirituality, I get kind of excited. Wow, here's someone who has actually given this a little bit of thought. Here's someone who desires to be authentic. Here's someone who might actually resonate with Jesus, who was more than a little miffed with the religious establishment of his day. Now, of course, I, I want to appeal to people who see themselves as being not religious but spiritual. I, I, I want to invite them to check out what we're doing at Masterpiece Church which is a new congregation that we're starting in, in uh, southwest Phoenix in Levine, Arizona. Frankly, though, if you look at me, you are probably thinking that I can't possibly get it. I mean, I'm a middle-aged white guy who has spent my whole adult life working in religious institutions. I, I'm an officially ordained pastor uh, with too many years of seminary. I've been on more church committees than people can possibly know exist. Uh, I've seen a lot of church crap, and, and, and I'm sure that I have unintentionally inflicted more pain than of which I'm aware. Maybe this is why I'm adamant about helping this new church become a welcoming place for just spiritual people. I know it's kind of risky. You're thinking, well, what if these guys turn out to be just like all the rest? Besides, I'm pretty happy with the way things are now. Well, let me briefly share 10 reasons to check out Masterpiece Church, even if you're not religious, but you are just spiritual. Number one, we're not perfect. And we don't expect you to be so either. We don't even expect you to appear like you are perfect. Number two, we won't try to turn you into a church lady. Enough said on that, yeah. Number three, there is no official church uniform. We, we know that people are all different and, and we actually kind of enjoy that fact. Number four, we don't define ourselves by what we are against, but what we are for. The good news of Jesus. Number five, we, we don't have a bunch of rules. Instead, we prefer to pour our energy into living out the grace and the generosity of God. Number six, we hardly pass for organized religion. I mean, with just a quick glance, you can see how disorganized we are. Chaos is okay. Life is messy. We know that. Number seven. We have no illusions of grandeur or coolness or hipness. By the grace of God, we are what we are. Number eight. We're not interested in turning everything into a show and a production. Noisy children don't bother us. If you wander in late, it doesn't bother us. If your cell phone goes off while I'm talking, I'm not even going to give you a dirty look. It, it just doesn't matter. It's not a production. It's not a big deal. Number nine. We're more interested in developing relationships than a big operation. We have absolutely no desire to become the next hot mega church. Bless those guys, they're important for what they do, but that's not who we are. Number 10, our greatest desire is to grow in our love for God and other people. That's how we ourselves develop, spiritually speaking. If you want to grow in your spirituality, Get into it together with some people who are committed to making a difference in the lives of individuals 
the community, and the world. When you get a chance, wander on over, please, to masterpiecechurch.org and give it a look. No harm in looking. Who knows? You might even find some people who care.